Hey everyone, this is Justin Nordstrom. I haven't been recording games for quite a while, but I thought I would give that a shot today. I'm playing a BPA game, that's a Board Game Players Association game, and it's with Paul Sampson. I decided to record this game because the BPA is a bit of a different tournament. Usually these games are played asynchronously, but Paul uh, graciously agreed to my request to play this in real time, so that's what we're doing today. I know a lot of people that follow Twilight Struggle games are more familiar with OTSL and ITSL, uh, but this one's a little different, and uh, it started off with a different bidding system. Uh, Paul got to, uh, I should say, I got to play first, and uh, I bid one to play the Soviets, and then Paul bid two, and so this is different than the usual system that guarantees a plus two US setup in most leagues, or the uh, play deck bid for sides, uh, which allows for a random draw in the case that both players choose the same number. Anyway, I decided to uh, bid one for the Soviets, hoping that Paul would uh, up the bid to two, which he did, and so that lets me play my preferred side, which is the US, at plus two. So looking for some good ops, and here we go. Okay, so some interesting cards. Uh, Purge is going to be tough, uh, but since I'm holding Blockade, I could always hold that through. I think we're going to set up Marshall. Uh, now we haven't seen uh, Soshkovs, so that's going to be interesting. We also don't have, uh, we haven't seen De Gaulle or Duck and Cover. So even though we're going to set up Marshall, even though we have some decent ops, looks like we've got, um, yeah, how are we going to use this? So we're going to set up Marshall, we've got NTB, we're going to event uh, CNS. I could try to uh, space Suez, and then, no, I think we're just going to have to use UN as a one-op. So that gives us to use here 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, only 11 ops. But on the other hand, we are getting hopefully good value from Marshall. Uh, I guess it's possible that we could... Um, yeah, I guess it's possible that we could space Suez, which would give us, you know, I think just getting rid of blockade is the play here. Okay, let's hope we don't get purged. And we're going to headline Marshall. The other advantage here is that we don't, we haven't seen NATO, so hopefully our opponent has it and we'll trigger it. We'll see if that works. So we have NTB, CNS, plan, special, also nice that UN is in our hand and not our opponents. Ah, we got perched. Okay, well. That changes things. Pretty much the worst thing to play is the U.S. Um, so now what we can do, though, is... We can space Suez and UN blockade. It's not terrific. It means we're going to lose out on some ops and the blockade could come back. I have to remember that. All right, starting off with a ComCon coup, and gets a good roll. All right, so we need presence in the Middle East, and we need to play into Southeast Asia. Um, maybe the thing to do here is one, two.
or two into Egypt. No, I think I think that's good. If he wants to coup me in Lebanon, I'm happy to do that. I want to try to get off to space first, and then we want to space Suez. So double spacing is not bad. Then we are really short of ops. King Truman. Let's see what he does here. If he coups Panama, that means um, oh, he does coup again. Let's see what's coming. All right, so he coups me there. All right. Um, so what are my odds here? Fifty-fifty. Uh, That's interesting. I mean, we need mill ops. All right, let's try it. All right, got a big six. Hopefully that'll discourage him from cooing again. We can always take Egypt. Okay, so decal here. All right, going for France adjacency. All right, so now, I'm, I mean, I'm tempted to coup into Thailand, but that's just using tons and tons and tons of ops. Can we take... All right, so this forces him to use the China card, um, or he would just coup Thailand with the China card. We could roll the dice and see, let's see, what would we need to do? We would need to get another high op roll of it. I'd have to roll at least a five to prevent it from getting it with the China card. I don't love that. Um, all right, so we could just take another one op coup. See how that goes? Nope, that doesn't go as well. All right, so now he's on Asia Dom.
plays Warsaw. Okay. Look at space. So Asia's looking pretty horrible. I think we space Suez and then uh, go with Egypt and maybe one for France. Mosa. Alright. Space again. Failed on the space roll and Answer for the event. Okay. So, right now we lose two. I mean, I want to overprotect France, um, but I don't love just giving up two VPs. Um,. The Gaul gets France anyway. If we put, let's think this through. If I put, all right, so that doesn't matter. So we can't stop Asia Dom. We go two into France. Where do I? But I have to give up VPs. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance here. We're gonna go with all right, big old six, got us into Egypt. All right, that lets okay. So now we have some options. We get defectors, we get Europe, and we get Middle East. We get Soshkovs, EU, and duck and cover, and NORAD. Okay, so. I think the headline's got to be defectors. We could just dump Mideast for nothing. But I'm thinking De Gaulle is out there, um, Cambridge Five, those would be good headlines. Let's see if we can... Uh, he's probably expecting it. But we have probably just enough ops to fight him on anything else. So it's looking like he'll probably take a big coup on Egypt. We can coup back. The goal would be defend Europe, score Medes for nothing, probably give up Asia Dom. We'll definitely give up Asia Dom. I'm thinking if I'm him, he might, he's probably going to go with De Gaulle. But he might just try C5. If he gives up De Gaulle, if he plays De Gaulle on AR1, okay, yeah, that's what I would have done, was play C5. So we stop that, but now let's see if he plays De Gaulle and if we have enough ops to get it back, to get Europe back.
All right, it's going to give up CIA. And what does he have? Okay, he did not draw defectors. That's good. Indy Reds. He did have De Gaulle. All right, so he had De Gaulle, but chose not to play it into defectors, which makes sense. I think... I think I could Iraq here. Okay. And it's great that he didn't get Asia. Okay, so this is all this is all great. Um, I think a coup. All right, failed that coup. I might try one on Egypt, or probably Panama. Well, that's good that that fails. Okay, so now we go here. We go here and here. He'll have to put two into Iraq. It's really a toss up which is better first. Yeah, but I like that. I also want to take Algeria and the southern part of Africa. Okay, reds. Yeah. Oh, he's going to give up Midi Stom. Okay. All right. We'll take that. And then we play Europe. Take Southern Africa. What to do about Asia here? Maybe for the event. It's fine. Europe. All right. So the fact that Asia hasn't come out gives us a victory point lead that looks impressive, but really isn't. Um, is there any way to neutralize him in Asia? I mean, I guess. I think I'm going to try to hold Duck. Space socialist governments. Although, maybe holding social governments would be better. Create a little influence. Right. That's fine with me. I'm going to go one here. Kind of play into Romania was kind of strange. I don't know if I would have done that. One here, one here. You know, he's got VR, AI, war. Um, let's think about that. He's got one. Hmm. Well, I only got to go here and here. Let's do that.
question is, do I keep socialist governments? VR for influence. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go here. Let's think about that. If I place three here, I ensure that the war fails, and I ensure that I don't get dominated. Being able to just event that for points would be great. Um, but that does mean that I can't... Oh, actually, let's do that a little bit more slowly here. I do want to get into Cameroon. I think that's going to be an important country. Let's go... Let's go with NORAD. If we go NORAD 1... Where do I go here? Panama? Mexico? Maybe I just space now. Sure. I'll take the space shot. Alright, we get it. So I'm guessing he uses AI war here. Maybe he takes the free point? And we go... Alright, so he decides to get the gall back in the deck. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can't do much about that. I'm going to go one here. One here. Um... Here, one here, I guess. I'm gonna use Nora for this. Let's go one here, one here. I hate doing it, but I gotta put one into Japan. Otherwise, you could take it with a China card and go for, um, right, and just go for Dom, or, uh, you know, Asia Control. So, I don't love it, but I think that's the play. Alright. Well, some good stuff. We get D Stall and AI War. Asia. We know he's got U.S. Japan. We know he's got NATO. We know he's got containment. We know he's got Fidel. All right. Um, we also get U and I, which is huge. We get VR. <coughs> we get NTB. All right, we're gonna have lots of ops. And okay, so I can cover these points. Middle East would be bad, but I think Duncan covers the play. Alternatively, we give up Asia for seven, but I think Duncan cover is going to be the way to go here. A Mideast redraw would be bad, but, I mean, not horrible. We protect Panama and our African countries. I think this is the play. If he does happen to play into Pakistan, we can play it at war, but he knows we've got it, so I don't think we're going to see that. So the VP track looks good, but we're about to lose seven.
All right, well, he sees that we played one into Asia. He knew we had it anyway, so I don't think that really gives too much away. If he wants to take India and Pakistan, we can always play AI War. We might end up giving up a couple more points, but we got three, really we got five for um, playing duck and cover, so I think that was still worth it. <clears throat> um, him, we know he's got NATO, so, man, that would be tough, but he also knows we have the war, so I'm not sure I would be in a huge hurry to fill up um, India and Pakistan. Also, wouldn't mind um, if he plays Fidel, which I think he will. I wouldn't mind um, trying to realign, double realign in uh, Algeria and Cuba. He's got containment as well, so we have to wait. We have to use up some of our four ops early. To get the extra point for containment. So we've got a lot of ops, but so does he. All right, so where does he go? Okay, so he goes NATO, which is active. All right, put an event there. All right, so we know he's got the war, but that neutralizes it, right? Because now if he plays it, the war automatically fails, and we stop Midi's Dom, and... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so Paul is doing something kind of smart here. He's basically saying, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take India and Pakistan if you don't score Asia now, which is two more points. Alternatively, he takes Israel. Yeah, so that's not great. Uh, so it's a it's a like guaranteed give up two points versus maybe give up more. I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take this. That might be a mistake. <laughs> we might end up giving up more points in Asia, but I think that's the way to go. It means his AI war automatically fails. <clears throat> Alright, so next we automatically, okay, so he events it, which is good. Right, good. Now we'll score Asia. I think next up we take Mexico and maybe put one in. Angola and one in South Africa. <laughs> okay, good. Fidel for the event. All right, so now we got a decision to make. I think I like real lines here. All right, nothing there, nothing there. Switch to go. There's two, that was good. All right, so that'll give me something to do. I think I'm going to try to, um, yeah, I know it's risky, uh, so event that, play that lot. I think I'm going to still um, use you and I. We'll take uh, Mexico and Algeria. I 
have to event IP war. Might wait on that. Okay. Do that action round five. All right, so we get the rest of Japan. They're great. Where's he gonna go here? He's fighting man country count. Okay. All right. Well, easy enough to fix. So salt's gonna be a problem, but. We do want to take Mexico. He's got containment. So I think next we have to play IP War. Surprise Paul spending all these ops in uh, non battlegrounds in Europe. I mean, that was spending. Yeah. Oh well. I really want to play IP War next. Okay, that's a point. Just some more protection, I guess. All right, we'll take our millops. Oh, hey, we get points too. That looks great. All right, so where do we go with VR? Do we take Mexico? We're gonna have three points. I think Sahara and Mexico. Looks better, Sahara or Cameroon. Where's he going to go with containment? doesn't have a lot of places to put these ops. Maybe now he takes India? Yeah, so Southeast Asia is not looking great. We're vulnerable to assaults for D style play. But Central America is a draw. It's going to come down to who gets the power cards, just as always. So where did he go with Katina? Looks like he went Yugoslavia. Okay. I guess he's forcing me to spend ops, so that's one there. Uh, the question is, do I go with Cameroon or do I take Mexico? Hmm. Yeah, I think Mexico is right. All right, we'll go there. Okay, some good stuff again. Four Panama's nice. 
So we get ask not. We get we will bury you. Open provides missile envy. The gall OPEC shuttle. Shuttle. Cultural is going to be a good card to play right off the bat. One small step keeps our space race lead, hopefully. Nuke subs. That's my nine. Um, okay, we could go nuclear subs. Because we could coup with a bunch of stuff. It's nice that we drew OPEC. We're not going to be playing Kennedy. We're going to be spacing De Gaulle, and, or rather, space we will bury you in OPEC. We, because we've got one small step, we know we can do two space rolls. Well, the question is, what do I. Man, what am I headlining? Um, we don't have good coup targets. Shuttle? Does shuttle give me Midi's Dom? I think it does. So we would have one, two, one, two, three, four. No, it just gives me one point. Um, I guess it's nuke slips. Oh, he gets a lot of points with Bresh now. Okay. Now I am tempted. So we play cultural first. Have to remember uh, the blockade is still around, so maybe hanging on to De Gaulle is not the worst thing for AR7. We're gonna try to save Kennedy. Southeast Asia would be a great card to use with Asgard. Korean War for the coup. It's going to be a big coup as well. Alright, so that's really good for him. Okay, so with possibilities here. Now I'm wishing I moved into 
So now if he coos Nigeria, what do we do then? If he coos Nigeria, what do we do? Maybe it, the play is one. <sighs> Alright, well I definitely want to play this. Here, see I don't really want to give him non-battlegrounds to coup. Gotta go one there. What does it look like if I just come back? Five or six, I need. Mean. So not great. All right, I don't mind that. China car. Where's he going with that? Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, let's go here. If he's got South America, he's going to play it now. Nuke subs guarantees us mill ops, which is good. Also, if he now plays uh, Junta or Brush, then it gives us chances to get it back. Um, our kitchen, he's going to realign us. Oh, and he gets it. Oh my god. That stinks. Okay. And kitchen's not active, so that just goes into the discard pile. Okay. Um, so maybe now what I do is something like this. If I go there, it puts us on Central Dawn. If I'm him, I, what do I do? I coup Sahara. No, alright, if he had Africa, he would have probably played it. So what do we do here? Hmm, interesting. Maybe we just start spacing. Let's do that. Nope. Good to get Opec out. Shay for the event. Where's he going with this thing here? Botswana? 
nothing. Oh, well, that's an owl. And then, all right. So, annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's just go back there. Normally I like to do a lot more cooing when it comes to uh, having nuclear subs, but yeah, that's not great. This Camp David. Is he sent to Jordan? What is he doing? Cooing about Tana again, huh? Oh my goodness, he's got three ops. So now what do we do? Okay, well now I think we're gonna kill this out of here. All right, we get it. That was a great roll, fantastic. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That which is right. Next we have to play the gall. Or uh, we will bury you. You have to space it. Oh! He had after the whole time. No wonder he was coming all that much. Let's see, but unfortunately, we want to get the three. Alright, we're failing our space roll. We're gonna bury you. If he has blockade, he's Probably gonna play it now. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a lot of points. All right. Okay. Um, what has been removed? How much extra de Gaulle do I have to put in? How much do I have to overprotect France now? Let's see. The answer is probably a lot. Um, because Soshkov's and yeah, Suez is still out there, right? Oh, we haven't seen so Suez is still out there and Socialist governments. All right, so I like this. That puts me on Central Dom and threatens Realize on Cuba. I like that. Okay. All right. I'll bid to Surrey. Are we get gunmen? All right, so we get arms race. Puppets, Usuri, Summit, J2, Learn, Salt. Oh, it's huge that we got salt. All right. This means that I can hold both gunmen and um, Kennedy. There's the rest of this hand is not too bad. So what do we do? We headline how I learned. No, I don't like that. Um, he's probably got all right. So none of the power cards are accounted for. So if we drop Defcon and he plays Liberation Theology or something, then he just flips it. So and the timing of. The timing of this is going to be key. What are you just event JP2? On the other hand, we could go looking for cards. No, I don't like that. I think we're just going to headline Pope. Okay. Alright, so he got hooked up. It might have some other power cards that we have to worry about. Uh, 
What's in the discard pile? RSP? You know, I sold for quick time. Oh, interesting. Oh, now he's going to coup something bigger. That was not a surprise. Maybe coup with... I don't remember. Blockade. So she goes for a big coup. Doesn't get it. Okay, so now we play puppets. We play here, here, and we're in Nigeria. No, Africa's been scored. I think we go here. Alrighty. Definitely gonna salt. So I can keep both Gunman and Kennedy. So let's also use the China card here. And if we use the China card and get it back, we serve it. Mm, no, no, I don't think I need to do that. My goal is gonna be to keep both Kennedy and Gunman through the reshuffle, which means for two more rounds. So that means use salt. That's huge. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh, I think, okay, so this means he's got, uh, this means he's got Brush War or ABM. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. So if we go here and threaten Realigns, then what does he do? He brushes Brazil. So maybe we go, this is better for This is better for brush war protection, I think. That's the play. Quagmire would suck here as well, because I don't really have anything good to throw into the Quagmire. That's where I always get tons of terrible rolls. I just, you know, have nothing to discard, and that's when I'm rolling fives and sixes for Quagmire. So let's hope that doesn't happen.
Let's see, if I play three, four, five, six, seven. The question is, is since I'm going to salt, when do I do it? Uh, so I miss that on central. It's unfortunate. Um, if I'm going to salt, when do I do it? Well, maybe we go like that. I think I'm going to salt for Junta here. Maybe we salt for RSP. Oh, there's the brush wall we were waiting for. Doesn't get it. That's great. All right. So what are we going to salt for? Salt for brush. Salt for RSP. Or salt for Junta. Uh, or we could wait, see if he plays ABM and try to get that. No, I think Junta is important enough. A good night, you know, I'm going to try to get rid of, you know what, I'm going to actually get rid of Gunman. Just get it out of the deck, get it out of the game forever. It'll make hanging on to Kennedy easier. Liberation Geology for the coup. Especially under... I don't know about that. Alright, so we get rid of Gunman. Maybe a coup is out here. That's a good roll for him. Uh, let's go here to threaten realigns on Venezuela. Yeah, we want CRG to come out here, because right now Africa's looking very vulnerable. I mean, it's scored, but... Okay, blocky for the coup. We don't have to worry about that. Alright. What's his... Alright, so we're not going to get points for that. No coup here anyway. Okay. Get my mill ops. So, five year plan to ditch Europe, is my guess.
I also could poke a rack. I hate that. All right, assuming he's got five-year plan in either South America or Europe. He's got OAS, okay, all right, well, that's interesting. So what do we do now? We take Venezuela, I guess? Man. Puts one in Venezuela, I guess. Yep. 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 Okay. That was you, Surrey. Fantastic. Okay, so we get CMC, Flower Power, Quagmire, Nixon. Olympics, Muslim Rev, and VOA. All right. So I think I can hold Kennedy through the reshuffle, which is obviously huge. We might try to hold both Quag and Kennedy through the reshuffle. I think it's gonna have to be Honda. What are his likely headlines? Decal, Allende. He doesn't have a oh, missile in. Missile envy gives him flower power. Which isn't great, but I felt I still think it's the yeah, that was missile envy. Okay, if we go here and we coup Venezuela, then he could put two into, we well, could jam Brazil. All right, so let's see how this goes. All right, we fail the coup, we give up flower power. So now I'm thinking we're going to maybe see ABM, and Space Muslim, of course. But I think with VOA we can fight this. Yeah, so I think we're going to play the China card and then get it back with Nixon. He, oh no, we can probably space, we can space twice, both Muslims and Quag. That's great. We'll do that, sure. So 
It's also Allende to worry about. So if I'm him, what do I do? Like EBM Venezuela is probably what I'd do. And he's probably got a five-year plan in Europe, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> we also have to worry about Suez. We have to worry about if he did Suez, we could repair. Sit down. Okay, that's not a great headline. <sighs> all right, not sure what that's about. Um, all right, so we can go. Got to go one here. I don't know what he's doing. I think I just couldn't take my notes, right? Denying presence. All right, two. All right, not sure what it's going to accomplish, but uh, now we. Sp <laughs> okay. One here. <laughs> yeah, I think that's still going to play. We'll get it back with Nixon. That's three. Four, five, six. We'll hold clap now. Suez, that's a big coup. Good roll, too. So we can coup back. We're going to roll to get something good. 50 50 shot of doing something good. Don't love that. I think I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Okay, get a good result. <coughs> Could also um, use VOA in the Middle East, Portuguese. Oh, another big sick, my goodness. Um, do I coup back? What am I odds here? Not great. Um, odds are better here. 50 50. I might just space now. All right, let them go. Alliance for space, well, that's unfortunate. There it is. Let's get back the shadow card.
All right, some more points for special relationship. Where do we put that? West Germany, I guess. Um, we'll go Canada. Let's go with this. Yep, makes sense. All right, probably shouldn't do it, but I'll go with Quag. <clears throat> Puts it back in the deck. We'll play VOA on our last AR. South Africa for defense. Where are you going with this? Okay. So where are we going? Well, that stinks that neither of these cards came up. We'll go there. 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 Where are we going to go with the last one? Here? Okay. So, he has, well, we get CRG. Air trap. E. Green overhead. We get Middle East. Lands. And I end day. So he's got Europe plus five-year plan, and he's got South America. Probably going to headline ABM. So, so what's good? Bear Trap? I don't want to hold that. You know, maybe a better use of bear trap would have been, uh, <clears throat> when I think about it, I could have done it on his AR-6 to prevent him from ditching Europe. <clears throat> but I also don't mind this. Probably going to play China. Hang on to Kennedy and EU. Gonna have to, if he plays ABM there, he's going to have to space grain, give up omit, go on ABM. If I'm him, all right, so now he's going to have, okay, so that, the good thing here is he can't just fix Thailand. This means he's probably going to have to take the coup. Otherwise, I can just take Thailand and work on taking North Korea. All right, so if I'm him, maybe coup what, Libya? Oh, he's just going to fix it. Okay. He gets out with grain. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where am I on? 
points here. Oh, a one. Oh, that's miserable. But it is enough to make him force between, force him to choose between cooing or protecting Thailand. Because they have the ops to take it. Unless he plays decal. He might play decal. In which case we respond with CRG. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. Okay, he's cool with Comic Con. Okay, and we go. So now breaking North Korea in the final AR becomes really consequential. We can fight for Asia. Right, so we know all his cards. It's probably going to space omit Play decal, score Europe, puts us at 15. It's a decal now. Okay, that makes sense. Just want CRG. Threaten the flip here. Do need to overprotect. Oh man, I got some overprotection to do. Omit to space. We knew that was happening. He gets it. Let's just take this as an opportunity to get it released. He drops Europe, gives him Warsaw, uh, one, two,
Frank plays Warsaw in Five Year Plan. Warsaw for the event. Interesting. Huh. All right. Let's go see Haiku. Uh, so let's go here, and here, uh, And as much as I hate to do it, I think I've got to use Allende to uh, overprotect Argentina. Where does he go with this? Maybe realigns on South Africa? So, unfortunately, I gotta go like that, right? I don't think so. Like, I am day. Alright, well, this is great. Liberation Theology. Alliance. Terrorism. We get Quagmire back. We get Shea. We get one small step. I'm not expecting, um, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so Alliance could win the game. So I think that's going to be our headline. And wait, well, we also get terrorism. And what? So, a couple ways to end this game. You'll need to play either Asia or Africa in... Um, yeah, this is looking pretty good for us. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six battlegrounds. If he doesn't headline points, then we win the game. If he does headline points, let's see what he does. Brush, okay. So a possible, oh, nope, that's the game. There we go. So thanks for watching. Yeah, I got really lucky there with cards, but um, I thought the bidding system for the BPA was a little bit interesting. I know this game went a little bit long, but thanks for watching.